So let's see what a GML parametric does with a, a virtual acoustic piano. See if we can balance it with our vocal. First, let's take a listen to this piano that I think you could pick out a couple of uh, peaks. I hear one at around uh, 2K, and I'm going to go after it with this uh, EQ. That's, let's search for the peak. There's a peak here. And there's one right there. Let's see what it sounds like when I take that out. By rocking the uh, frequency back and forth, you can really hear the artifact pop out. Listen for that tone. I think that's it. It's, it's around 2K. So let's take that out. Let's look for our artifact on the low end. I think it's around here. Yeah. Let's rock this. So you note in tuning this, it's a combination of listening to it as a peak and as a dip. I think it's somewhere around. Somewhere in there. It's a little around 400. Yes. Let's take that down. Let's warm up both ends where we're taking out. Let's warm up the bottom. I'm putting a little bit of the 400 back in. Let's warm up the top. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's EQ'd. Here's... Boy, we really hear that ring in the mid-range, don't we? Okay, here's EQ'd. Let's tune this up a little more. It's EQ'd. Here's flat. I think at the top this that really benefits from this. Do you hear that? I do. I bet your artist does too. So one of the benefits of this kind of surgical approach to EQ is that we can clear a way for a more beautiful support for our vocalist. This thing, this that's right in the middle of the vocal range. So let's see what it sounds like with the vocal in. Let's see what it sounds like with this peak back in. This is it. Now we're... That's... Okay, now if you were mixing that, you'd be tempted to turn that down. But like this, taking... Taking this out, it's very unbeautiful. Very unflattering for a vocal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You leave a donut hole for the vocalist to step into. It clears away those, those unbeautiful sounds right in the middle of a very sensitive vocal region.